Hi everyone and welcome to Math 107 Online. I'm your instructor Yvonne Fish. I just wanted to say a quick hello and show you how to navigate our course and what it looks like. Um, I'm going to open it up a little bit early so you can get started but there's no need to rush. Um, July 1st is the official start date. So when you log in to Canvas, um, once this is published you'll see a welcome announcement and you can click on that um, to get back to where we just were you can click home our home page is set up as um, an outline format with a little message for me with things to remember on the side there of course the materials are up here you can click on those we're using open source materials that are free you can download I've also included instructions on how to get a print copy if you would like to um, but you can just read the book on PDF uh, also the there are videos for most of the examples in the book uh, if that's preferable to, for you and there's a workbook that you don't need to print but it might be nice to print that out um, and do the problems but you can just use a notebook just like you would in a classroom and I'll make some videos for those that I will assign uh, that you'll take notes submit the notes and then do some problems submit the problems and then you'll get into your electronic homework and other things that you'll see as we move along so I'm gonna click here this is where I'd like you to start is module 1.1 getting started so click there and this um, page will pop up <clears throat> so we will see here welcome and then what the format is like and then to move on there's a next button move that out of the way um, on the bottom right and if you move sequentially through you'll see all these things you'll read them of course and here's all your materials and how to access them. It actually does have a, an ebook that you can download. And just continue on that way. Um, I'm going to go back over here and I'm going to click modules to, to show you what happens when the modules are being checked off. So I've set this course up to avoid any confusion that you will have check marks you'll have to work in sequence so that you don't miss any lessons um, this is especially online even in a face-to-face -face or hybrid class students sometimes um, lose track of where they were at um, this is nice because once you've read through that you get a check mark you know you've done it and you can go back and access any of those things after but you won't be able to move on until you actually click in sequence. So if, if ever you're stuck and it says, you say, I can't advance anymore, you just go back here, just click through and make sure you've actually clicked, scroll down and clicked next. Just even if you've already read it, just go through, make sure you hit it in sequence because sometimes things, I don't know what happens, but you might have hit something out of sequence and it just, register for you okay so my open math is what we're going to use it's like WAMAP or math Excel or one of those XYZ you may have used before um, it's really pretty easy to use you're already enrolled by being in canvas it's connected with our course again if anything is wrong with that if it doesn't work for you just email me right away um, and once you get through all of this, see this is your syllabus. And there's a syllabus quiz to take, a syllabus and getting started. Some things were in the getting started. So you have to read through that. Then you have a bio. I've already posted mine so that you can um, have an example. I've posted in here how to do discussions uh, on a reply to embed an image like that. 
set your notifications in Canvas. So again, you'll click through all this and read through it. I'm not going to take time to do that in a long video. And then I bring you back to the home page just so you can then see how to start the next one. And you'll click on measurement. You do want to check your home page periodically. This is where I'll be adding in videos of each lesson. I haven't quite got that finished yet, but I will put those in there. Some um, video examples that are different from the textbook. Here's the textbook. We're starting with chapter five because I think everybody probably needs to review some measurement and geometry before we start using them. And here's um, what the my open math looks like and you just do the problems in a notebook write your answer in here there's video tutorials extras like different from the ones that i do to introduce the topic so that will be helpful and then here's some just extra overview videos for extra help and that is the end for right now um, go back to modules. You can see what that looks like, how we've gotten our check marks. Well, this one I haven't sequenced yet, but I will. And then uh, I'll be adding to it. You can work ahead as long as I've got it ready. Uh, I'm not going to promise that everything will be opened up ahead of time, but you will be able to usually work a week or two ahead. We do want to make sure Everything's done by a closeout date for each unit has a closeout date. So unit one, um, we've got to get everything done in that unit by July 18th. You can work past due at no penalty. Um, and then unit two, again, you have a closeout date. So and your projects have due dates. But it's pretty flexible. Like So if you were planning a trip, just make sure you know you're going to be leaving on a certain date, make sure you work ahead. And again, by July 1st, I'll have at least the first um, unit all completed. So you could, some people finish that in like a week um, and just really can crank things out fast. Uh, the discussions and replying might be a little tricky if you're working ahead, but uh, you could probably just make sure you go quick back and look, and get your replies done on your phone, even if you're traveling. A lot of times I teach from my boat, and um, so I do like to get everything set up ahead of time. So I hope that helps. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to email me. Communication is really critical, but here's all what we're gonna do in the course so you can get an idea. Um, we do not do chapter four or chapter 11. Um, and we don't get too nitty gritty with the projects that are pretty light. So I'm calling them mini projects because they're not too um, overbearing. And you'll have choices as to what you can pick from. Okay. So have a great day.